We have another- oh god, it's a Hathor dragon. Another six divine dragon battle to do. Arya, I might need your help on this one. We're taking- we're talking a sarcophagus full of divine deserts, or desert divines. Um, I did not read that correctly. That would be an understatement. Um, doesn't matter which one we attack. But yeah, these six divine dragon fights, I imagine if your dragons are like the same level as them, these fights are probably quite difficult. Like, very difficult. So, I'm glad that we have a level 92 or whatever it is. Well, actually, considering that we're going to have a lot more um, food now after doing all these fights, we might even get to level 100 soon. Again, I'm hoping and praying that we do, and I think we can do this fight, right? Although he might kill him. Oh, a Hermes dragon didn't die! Woo! We're saved! Okay, so the Hathor is dead. That's good. I'm glad he's out of the way. But we should be able to do this now. That's fine and dandy. That took a lot of hits, though. High five, Eliza! We did it! And we got to see all our old divine friends again. No high fives! Okay, maybe one. High five. Or two. That's fine. Sweet. So we only got two stars for that, so we could be getting more rewards if we just leveled up our dragons, but... You know, I I'm enjoying doing it with these two. What a battle that was! So this one should be a piece of cake in comparison, trader. Uh, so if we attack this tornado, hopefully we should be able to get the three star here. I mean, if we just had three dragons, we would be getting more points anyway. Because if you don't put a dragon in, it counts it as you... I don't know, is it like dying? Even if you didn't have a third dragon? So maybe we should just put the autumn dragon in anyway. Just as I suspected! Great job! Ruinous Ridge! But yeah, 13 million food. We should definitely be able to, you know, upgrade Andy a few more levels. I think I'm starting to put it together. The secret of this mysterious island and the behaviour of the dragons that have come here. Oh really? Are you gonna tell us? Or are you just gonna be really edgy for the sake of it? I would have appreciated that being, you know, actually spoken about, but I guess we have to beat the fight first? Imagine how cucked you'd feel if you had to, like, do the first part of this fight, but you couldn't finish it. Okay. Your expert battling skills have helped me study the dragons, so thank you. Oh, so he's not actually telling me about it. Again, I would appreciate it if you'd actually continue that. Okay, good. The temples all over this island suggest ceremonial sac significance. Not sacrifice. That almost sounded a lot worse. Then, of course, there's the presence of the divine dragons and others. Oh, okay. That sounded a bit scary for a second. There are ceremonial sacrifices. I was like, really? Is this the, the sort of um, path that we're going down? Sacrificing dragons? Seems a little bit OTT, don't you think? But no, it's all good. It's all good. So he's dead. Wapa chow! Taking notes, Professor? Certainly. I mean, if it's gonna, you know, further his research, I'm sure he definitely will. I don't think the dragons would have gathered here without an important reason. Hello, dragon. Won't you tell me your secrets? I mean, assuming dragons can actually understand humans, that might even work. It's just like, hello, Mr. Dragon, would you please tell me how to do this? And then they'd be like, yeah, sure, I'll do it. And then it's done. Uh, whatever, we just one-shot everything with Andy at the moment. Feels like the old days. Alas, I'll have to keep studying Dragonese. You made that up just now, didn't you, Professor? Dragonese. You know, maybe, maybe that'll become a real thing. Everything was made up at some point. Have you got any ideas about what's going on here, Professor? I do, and I'll tell you after this battle. He sounded so excited. In my brain. Uh, come on, let's go wreck him. Um, although these two are resistant to plant, which is kind of a pain. So I guess we'll just attack with Divine. And then Andy will murder everything. 
How enjoyable. He's doing like 2 billion damage or something, isn't he? I believe that the Divine Dragons have assembled themselves and their strongest disciples to test us. Something very big is about to happen. I'm just not sure exactly what. Could be anything. The Greater Pep! Okay, maybe we'll need Andy in the first slot for this one. This one may be a little bit too difficult for us otherwise. The Great Apep. A pep dragon, if you like Discord so much, then you won't want to hear how we've been kind of getting along with Vikings. Wait, Discord? The PC app? Even the pep dragon didn't seem to be able to cause him infighting within our ragtag group. Interesting. Oh yeah, because he's meant to be like a big meanie that makes everyone really mad or whatever, right? So there we go. The greater pep has now been unlocked. He is 2,575 Gemmarinos. So, I don't know. Between all of these, I still love Mrs. Hiss the most. But maybe, maybe we will find a different dragon that we like even more than all of them. So let's just keep going. We're nearing the summit of the island. It's getting icy, but all of this fighting makes the cold feel refreshing. Let's battle. Wasn't the top of the old map icy as well? At least I thought it was, right? I'm not I'm not mistaken in thinking that. I don't know. I don't remember. And oh my god, my voice. I do hope that we find Ned soon. Poor boy isn't great with heights. Yeah, he's not great with really anything. His self-esteem is low. He's awful with women. I don't know what to say. I think I hear Mother. I'd recognize her battle cry anywhere. And if I find her first, I'm sure she'll read me bedtime stories. Just like old times. Wait, what? What happened with Eliza's mother? Is there some law that I'm, I'm not aware of here? Unless her mother's a dragon? I have no idea. <clears throat> I see the years haven't made you any less ridiculous, Melvin. Ooh, she's back. She is back. Back again. Eliza is back. Ned might not be the best battler, but he's smart. Perhaps he's already figured out this island's mysteries. Trainer, please help us find him. I will, I will. Calm your farm. I'm trying. It's just these battles take literally hours. They take absolutely forever so you know just chill chill a bit you've got great stamina trainer hmm what's that i think i hear distant whimpering ned or oh, what's happened familial juicy what has happened to ned wait until mother hears all about all of our breakthrough ah let's start again wait until mother hears about all of our breakthroughs should be so so you know what? Let's not think about it. We'll just battle this dragon instead. Yeah, it's getting to me. This long, arduous process is getting to me. It's, it's starting to hurt. It is hurting my, my mouth. Oh no. If only she would wear the perfume I made for her, we would know exactly where she was from miles away. But no, too sulfur, she said. I mean, if it's full of sulfur, she'll probably die from it, but, you know, whatever you want to do. I thought I'd heard the rumble of an avalanche, but it looks like it was the rumble of a pack of dragons. Come on, everyone, less searching and more battling. Okay, okay. Everyone's taking this far too seriously at this point. Come on, he's going to die dead. And then, oh, this was a, a double part fight. I actually did not realise. Whoops. But, yeah, I'm really interested to see what the reward dragon is for completing this map, because I have not even checked what it is yet. <laughs> I actually don't even know what it is. I never thought I would enjoy fighting alongside Vikings, but hey, that was a great show, everyone. So what, is everyone going to become, like, best friends by the end of this? Is this, like, the moral of the story? It does seem like this island has brought out the best in everyone. I hope the same is true with Ned and Gunhilda. It would be nice to put conflicts behind us. 
Again, too true. There doesn't need to be so much fighting in the world. Just everyone calm down, be best friends with one another, and you know, just enjoy life. Just enjoy life for what it is. I think that's a very, a very cute little story, to be honest. Fantastic battling trainer! It seems like this island has brought out the best in you as well. Something is in... Do you see that boss dragon over there? Look at that guy! What a cutie pie. Oh my god, that is actually so, so adorable. Don't worry too much about Ned, Professor. I'm sure when we find him, he'll have already figured out what this island is for. Maybe even without trembling. Uh, maybe. Maybe not. I mean, you've seen him in past events, right? He was he was not doing too hot by the end of them. He was not having a good time. Whatcha pow? As long as we're getting three stars, I'm cool. It's true, I'm not looking forward to finding Ned and hearing his... Oh, I'm looking forward to finding Ned and hearing his thoughts. We need to compare notes. Hmm, is this what fatherly pride feels like? I would not know. I am not a man, nor am I a father at that in any stretch of the imagination. Arya, I don't like to admit it, but you would probably make a good Viking. You're hardy, you're brutal, and you could even make Eliza listen to you. I definitely don't know how to feel about that, so instead, uh, let's battle more dragons. I mean, come on. Eliza would be absolutely perfect as a Viking. She's mean all the time. I don't know if she smells bad. She probably does have a shower. She looks like the kind to shower because of the quality of her hair. Donkey! Don't tell her stuff like that! Oh, she would make a decent Viking, though. Again, she would. Everyone knows it. She knows it. Maybe this is where the big debate comes. Those temperature changes aren't good for my vocal cords. And just when I was about to try a yodel to find mother. Your vocal cords aren't good. What about mine? Like, Jesus, it has literally been 48 minutes of straight fighting and talking at this point. I don't know how I'm doing this. How is this even a thing anymore? I'll try a yodel too. Your lay <laughs> Decent effort. I like that. I like that. I'm trying not to be too loud because if I if I keep screaming, the neighbors may be like, what the heck is going on in there? Cheers to us, and cheers to another great dragon battle. That was quite a very quick and succinct intro to this fight. It's just like Let's -a go! Yay! And that was like it. My god, I do hope that we can do the last few battles though. I hope that we don't just hit a wall. Hey, I think I found some thread from Ned's coat. Not that I usually notice what Ned's wearing. Uh, let's follow this trail. That's kind of weird. That was kind of a weird thing to say. Oak Thorny. Are you kidding me? This guy looks adorable.